decided to establish the office of a special prosecutor who is supposed to function under the office of the Attorney General and Minister of Justice. The question I always pose is, if the Attorney General cannot prosecute some key public officials and his own party men who fall foul of the law because of political clout and other factors, then how can the special prosecutor who works under him do so? We must be informed that the special prosecutor, by the law establishing the office, is not as independent as the ordinary man or Ghanaian working our streets perceives him to be. Section 2 of the Act establishing the office, that's Act 959, gives him a limited role in the investigation and prosecution of criminal cases. It provides that the special prosecutor is to investigate and prosecute specific cases of alleged or suspected corruption and corruption-related offenses, but not all corruption-related cases. The question is, who decides on the specific cases to be investigated and prosecuted? The provisions of Section 4, Subsection 1 and 2 are more interesting, and they provide, for one, except as otherwise provided in the Constitution, the office is not subject, that the office of the special prosecutor is not subject to the direction or control of a person or an authority. The law did not say of any person or any authority. It says of a person. It means there is somebody else whom he is subject, who controls him. Now, like the Electoral Commission one, it says any person or any authority. When it comes to the special prosecutor, a person or an authority. While the electoral commissioner is somehow totally independent, the special prosecutor is not. In fact, the special prosecutor has no independence whatsoever. We should know that. And if we don't know, we should learn it from today. He is subject to the authority of the attorney general. Subsection 2 of Section 4 says, subject to Clause 4 of Article 88 of the Constitution, the office of the special prosecutor shall, for the purposes of this act, be authorized by the Attorney General to initiate and conduct the prosecution of corruption and corruption-related 